I love coming to work every day. I literally yell from my office. I love it here. I would like the world to know who Penn Fed is and what our values are. And as a military man since the early 70s, it was a great organization to belong to. The year was 1935. Babe Ruth hit home run number 714, the final of his career. The Hoover Dam was completed. Amelia Earhart flew solo across the Pacific. Elvis Presley was born, and so was Penn Fed Credit Union. The credit union was formed when uh, 10 enterprising War Department officials got together and had a tidy little sum of $40 and started the War Department Credit Union. That $40 investment ultimately became Pentagon Federal Credit Union, now Penn Fed. Penn Fed was always a credit union that took very good care of its members. Even as we have grown and brought in other members, our ethos hasn't changed. What has changed is our country's cost of living. In 1935, the average price of a new home was just $3,400. A new car cost roughly $625, and gas would set you back about 10 cents a gallon. Even back then, Americans were quickly learning the benefits of joining a credit union. And a well-run credit union can beat the loan rates and share rates of any commercial bank. For any consumer who wants to save money or needs to borrow money, Credit unions have an advantage over any bank, and they don't have to make money to pay their shareholders. Today, PenFed is open to everyone, with a team dedicated to taking perfect care of its two million members. Our people make it special. It's all about people. If you don't have the right people with the right focus, I mean, there's a sincere desire amongst our employees to help people. They listen. They listen to our members who are having trouble, they listen to our members who are doing well, and they do whatever they can each day to make the lives of our members better.